Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, this is Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Friday. It is September the 18th. And it's the dawn of an, another Britney Spears concert for me because I'm here for the fourth time tonight. And boy, am I excited about that. All right, L.A. police have arrested an 18-year-old. His name is Nicholas Prugo. And he has allegedly been responsible for break-ins at Lindsay Lohan and Audrina Patridge's house. Now, Audrina's break-in happened like in February of 2008, ages ago. And at the time, she posted a surveillance video from her place on her blog and hoping it would lead to the arrest of somebody. At the time, it didn't help her any. But then back in May, I believe it was, Lindsay Lohan had two people try to break into her house. They were unsuccessful. Three guys came back in August and they did get in there. And now they've arrested at least this one suspect. I'm sure they're looking for the rest. Now, Kendra Wilkinson's husband, Hank Basket, was released from the Philadelphia Eagles so they could have a little bit more room on their roster for Michael Vick. So that had to hurt. But he wasn't without a job for long because he's been picked up by the Colts and is expected to be at practice with them today. And, of course, he and Kendra are expecting their son. They're also naming him Little Hank. He is due on Christmas Day. Sources told E! exclusively that Kourtney Kardashian and her boyfriend, he's L.A. Laker Lamar Odom, are already talking about marriage. They've been dating a grand total of, what, two months? So good luck with that. Uh, Avril Lavigne blogged that she and her husband Derek Wibley, who was with some, what was it, some 182? It's been so long, I forgot what number they picked to go with that, but they are separating. She wrote on her blog that, you know, they were together for six and a half years, married for three and that they're still going to remain the best of friends. And sources say that's not exactly the, the case. That's not how he's seeing it, that Avril kicked him out of their home in Bel Air and that she's been acting like a single crazy person for some time now, and he's been absolutely crushed by her decision to leave him. And then finally, Ryan Seacrest made an appearance at a children's hospital yesterday in Orange County, and after he was done, he was signing autographs for people outside the hospital, including this one guy named uh, Chidi, Chidi Uzoma, I'm not going to say that ain't again, but um, as Ryan's trying to get in his car, so did this dude. And a security guard kind of got in the way and pulled him aside. Ryan took off so he didn't see the ugliness that followed. There was a huge fight. This guy attacked the security guard, started choking one to the point where he almost lost consciousness. And then police finally arrived. They frisked the guy and found a switchblade in his pockets. There's no telling what he had in mind to do once he got in Ryan's car because he's not saying much. His bail is set as $25,000 and he is set to be arraigned later today. That's your showbiz top five.